So last week I was kind of absent on my channel. Nobody cares. The reason for this is it was because I was in Maine doing something that involved something with people. <sighs> Before you ask, no, I am not a secret agent. I was just working on a project with some family members and that involved me being out of state. I've done it before. <coughs> On this trip, when I first arrived in the, the state, I don't know. Me and my grandparents were waiting for my aunt and uncle to arrive at an airport. While we were waiting, we decided to go to a furniture store. Yes, we went to this furniture store. Great storyteller. <coughs> Jordan's, yes, yes. Jordan's is a furniture store. So, I've never been here, by the way. We went in there, and we're looking at all the stuff, it looks very nice. Um, after we're in there for a little bit, uh, this employee comes up to us. So, the, the first thing you notice about this person is obviously going to be the way he's dressed. Very snappy. He, he has a whole suit on, he looks really nice. A tie matching um, a handkerchief in his pocket. And he even has one of those thingies. He has a thingy that goes like through the tie to keep it like in shape. Is it just a safety pin? I don't know, but it looked nice. And he even had the watch. He had a watch. He had a, a chain on uh, like going through his vest pocket. <laughs> he, he was dressed very nicely. <coughs> he had nice shoes. I don't, I have no idea what kind they were. I, I'm not a shoe connoisseur. Define connoisseur. While he was talking to us, he took a stance that was, uh, I don't, I can't, mm -hmm. yes. Like that. <laughs> Why is this information important? It is not. But I can tell, I, c I could tell that he stands like that a lot because of the wrinkle in the shoe. And I thought that was funny. I really, I liked the click that the shoes made when he walked. <coughs> but what I think is really funny is that when me and my grandparents left the store, and we walked back to our vehicle to wait. We, well, I, we, yeah. We saw him walk to his car and get in his car. Um, I'm guessing it was his lunch break or something. Um, and I saw him, he was taking a smoke in his car. And I think that's really funny because either he just, it just adds to the classiness. Cause you know, like watching a dude like with his wine and a cigarette, it's a cigarette. It, it, it was a cigarette. It, well, it wasn't a cigar, it wasn't vaping, it was a cigarette. So, you know, just the typical <sighs> stereotype of a nice guy in a suit. Wine, cigarette. Either it was that, or the fact that after a whole day of keeping his composure, he just goes in his car <sighs> and takes a smoke. <coughs> I thought that was really funny. Also, I swear, he teleports. He can teleport. Because at some point, after he was done uh, with us, like, assisting us, he went through a door. The place was kind of set up like a, like giant cubicles. You Like, you have a bedroom set up in this area, and there are walls, but the walls don't go all the way to the ceiling. It's just a little area, and then another area, and then you just kind of walk through the maze of bedrooms that are set up because of the furniture. You know, like you like show off the furniture, yeah. <coughs> so he went through a door, an exit door, that I assume is only for uh, the employees. And a few minutes later, not even a few minutes, seconds later, we went in the opposite direction that he did, and we saw him again, assisting other customers. So we, big room. We were standing, middle of the room. He went into the corner with the door and we went that way because that's where the exit was and he <laughs> was there so we went that way and then that way and then he was there I think this happened a couple times yes because when we were exiting we also saw him somewhere else I think it's funny it was a fun experience I really need to get out more and also when we I think it was like a mall so when you exit the Jordan's you go into another area and so we walked into this place it was one of those climby things you know like a jump a jungle gym except floating <laughs> you know it's like those things the kids would like walk across they're hooked up to something so they don't fall and they're just going 
around obstacles. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'll find a stock photo if I can. But we were there, and there was music playing. It was fun. It seemed like fun. And the people who were there seemed like they were having fun. Including the employees, because when we walked in, uh, you and we entered, it was kind of all opened. But we go in, there's a desk, not a desk, there's a counter, mm -hmm. which is where the employees are, and like where the cash register is and stuff. And so there are two people there, which by the way, one person was talking, like nonstop, and the other person clearly did not want to be there, because they were just leaning on the counter like... They weren't even facing the person talking to them, they were like behind them, just like... Mm. But across from them, behind like all the stuff, and there was like a gate. There was another dude behind a gate, and he was dancing in the direction of the people at the counter. And he was just dancing in their direction. Like, <laughs> uh, I think that's funny. <laughs> I think it's fun. Also, we were um, there for a few minutes, and someone, <laughs> someone that was up near the, like, higher, on the thing, the jungle gym, the floating jungle gym, um, someone yelled something like, uh, like, they, they accomplished something, and they were like, did you say that? Did anyone say that? And the same employee who was dancing said, I saw it, and the person yelled, thank you! <laughs> did you say that? Yes! Thank you! <coughs> and it was a big place, so the voice was just, it just, not echoed, but you could hear it everywhere so I don't even know where it came from I just heard it up come down <sighs> thank you thank you San Francisco <coughs> I really hope when I get a job the employees are really peppy so that they can just come over and make my day better but that person that was at the counter you could just tell they did not want to be happy it was so funny just walking by this person going on and on about something just blah 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 and person right next to them Also, during the visit, I went with my cousins on a little adventure. It was fun. It was for my aunt's birthday, and we um, we went to this abandoned church, which was really, really fun. If you find an abandoned place and it's not trespassing, I recommend going to check it out because it can be a lot of fun. So we went in. It was it was cool. There were paintings on the walls, and there was this curved wall, and there was an organ. It was a tiny little organ. It wasn't like an organ. It was like a little piano that sounded like an organ. And then there was also one upstairs on like a balcony, which I could play. Cause there was like a thing where like you put your foot on it and you have to like go on the pedal like that with your foot. But I, when I put my hand on the keys, I noticed it wasn't making a sound. And then I looked, I, I looked at it and then I just put my foot on and I just like start pushing on it and then playing the keys. And I'm like, oh. And so what do I play on the piano? That sounds like an organ. That sounds really nice. Da, 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 da. I play Hearts and Souls. <laughs> there was also a bell, and we rang it. We got really excited about that. And my cousin was like, oh, what's this rope do? Because it looks like it would open an attic or something. But she pulls it and she realizes that it feels like, I don't know, it feels like something is moving and she has to pull it more. So she does. We just hear, gong. And she goes, oh. And so we just take turns ringing the bell. It was a very fun but childish moment. And I looked around and I went behind the pulpit. And the pulpit was weird. It was like you go in front of it and it has like, it's not the basic, like, like there are no shelves. It was kind of just little walls. And I looked at under, behind it, under to the left. Uh, I f well, I found a penny. And there was also a old, crushed Bud Light can. <laughs> so I can. And that also made my day. That was, yes. But yeah, again, if you find an abandoned place, especially a church, I recommend checking it out. It's, it's fun. As long as it's not trespassing. I'm not encouraging you to break laws, let it be known. But if you want to, I mean, I can't really stop you. 